Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we bring you some more news. Sorry I've been haven't been uploading for a, a while now. A very long while now. But things have been hectic for some time and I'm not sure when it's gonna ease up. So I'm gonna like start doing at least one video per week. So either at the beginning of the week or at the end of the week when uh, I can get the news to you so without further ado let's get into it starting off MD RX 5700 series reportedly end of life yeah so as AMD gears up to release their new graphics cards the RX 600 series, they are ending production of the current lineup of graphics cards, the RX 5700 series. So, they're supposed to announce RDNA 2 later on in the in the month, this month. So you can see that they are finishing up production of the previous RDNA cards to release these new ones make fabrication space so they can build up stock so they won't have a botched launch as it would point towards NVIDIA so you guys can get your wallets ready for the news when uh, these cards launch. So, on to the next one. Nvidia RTX 3070 launch postponed to October 29th. And uh, that is quite convenient because that's uh, right after AMD uh, announces what they have coming. Yeah, so the, it looks like Nvidia is holding off on releasing this card to see what AMD has in store when they drop their their stuff see how it performs compared to theirs and then see how the how things go and then drop theirs after yeah it's not like we haven't seen moves like this already in the, in the industry let's see who whose stuff is better and who wins who gets more sales they're saying it's uh, to build up stock so as to not have a launch like the RTX 3080 where everything just sold out in a matter of seconds so new release date October 29th you guys can check that out when it launches next Apple for the smart wear they got guys and girls out there Apple will soon reach 100 million users of the Apple watch so Apple watch's growth has skyrocketed ever since it was launched the smart watch is currently on track to hit 100 million users and has positioned Apple as a major competitor in the health wellness device category so yeah and they've been making some major moves in the industry like stuff that monitors your heart rate tracks blood oxygen level and which are some useful features for people who need this stuff like people who are diabetic who need to track their blood sugar level yeah stuff like that real good you can see we have spotted the RX 37 RTX 3070 spotted going through validation you can see these are images of the factory where they're testing the dies for final validation before putting them on the PCBs and making a card Okay, you can see a lot of information from this 
picture and see is the the 104 die 40 by 40 I'm not sure what that means and the device name GA104 test program 300.sh and uh, test flow is the SLT fuse check 100% wall scan yeah. for those who know what that information means you can let me know in the comments because I but love me I don't know what that means but I'm just bringing you the news get you guys more hype when the good stuff drop next it's a predator it's a predator x 34s new ultra right gaming monitor from Acer yeah a new Acer monitor has been spotted on Chinese Taobao website yes it's going for 9,999 Chinese Yuan which I don't have time to convert as, as much as simple as it is but let me give you some specs that it tells. It's a ultra wide QHD monitor with a resolution of 34440 by 1440p. Nano IPS panel with a 98% of the DCIP P3 coverage of the color space up to 200 Hz variable refresh rate with JSync support. So this monitor will be very well your guys next monitor because it even has a latency of 0.1 milliseconds I've never seen that on a any monitor before so you guys can keep watch maybe it comes to the western market but as you can see it's just in China for the time being A little bit of gaming news. Last story. Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Over 200 gigabytes of storage required to install the game. Yes, guys. Right now, I play Call of Duty Warzone, so I have about half that size. It's still unbelievable that if you have Call of Duty Modern Warfare, the main game, and Warzone, which is you're going to run into over 256 games, which means those smaller SSDs won't be able to keep up. So, well, as this, as this article says, Infinity War finally did it. Call of Duty Modern Warfare is over, now over 200 gigabytes in size. All uh, my megabytes are gone. My gigabytes are deleted. For what? A big home. Let's do it. Yes, I'm saying. I deleted the photo albums, treasure memories, and their entire Adobe Suite for this. This <laughs> better be spectacular. Uh, I've seen other games back in enormous worlds and uh, large experiences. And I'm around the file size of like 30 to around 70 gigabytes. Point that. Uh, Cyberpunk 2077. Yeah. When that comes out, I just hope the file size stays into a manageable level. But we're talking about quality and it's absurd file size. I know, I'm not really sure how long persons will keep this on their systems because it's getting out of hand and people, people, space on their hard disk is a valuable resource. Well, guys. That's the last of it. I want to thank you for watching. If you like the video, like.
share it, leave a comment, subscribe. And this has been Wolf with the Tech News. As always, all the links to the stories I cover will be in the description. Thanks for watching.